You cannot think how pleased the queen was to hear that name. And soon afterwards, when the little man walked in and said, Now, Mrs. Queen, what is my name? She said at first, Are you called Jack? No, answered he. Are you called Harry? She asked again. No, answered he. And then she said, Then perhaps your name is... Rumpelstiltskin? And there was a feel. His flesh twitched. His hands twitched. He stood drinking the oddness with the pores of his body. Somewhere, someone must have been screaming one of those whistles that only a dog could hear. His body screamed silence in return. Beyond this room, beyond this wall... Beyond this man, who was not quite the same man, seated at this desk that was not quite the same desk, lay an entire world of streets and people. What sort of world it was now, there was no telling. Rainsford's first impression was that the man was singularly handsome. His second was that there was an original, almost bizarre quality about the general's face. He was a tall man, past middle age, for his hair was a vivid white but his thick eyebrows and pointed military mustache were as black as the night from which Rainsford had come. His eyes, too, were black and very bright. 